Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I've just received my Paper Craft Society box. This is box number two. Those of you that follow me would have seen box number one shared about four weeks ago. That one was designed by Christina Griffiths and today's has been designed, or well, the number two box has been designed by Helen Griffin. So this has got a real Christmas theme. They always give you a idea of what the papers and the colour palette is going to be like from the box. So when we had Christina's it was reds and whites and golds and this one here we've got purples and blues and silver running through it and you've got that lovely silver foiling on the front there as well. So let's get into the box. Always got that really nice velcro closure, something about that just really nice. So it says here, from my craft desk to yours, a beautiful box of products to pamper your creativity, Helen. So what have we got? So we've got our envelope. And I did mention before, when you get these, the idea is, is that you stack these all along. So let me just grab, I've got it here actually. So this was the first one. Because you can actually put a lot of it in back in here, even the, 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 the looser bits here. The ink pad you'd have to keep separate and the pens, but certainly all the other, you know, your um, pattern papers and things will all go in here nicely. So there you can see Papercraft Society Card Making Magic Box 1. So now I can have the next one next to it and you the idea is is that you you know line them all up like your books so I think they're going to look really nice I quite look forward to uh, to collecting them and it'd be nice to know that it's, it'd be easy to just pull that out and you, you know what's in there you know it's all matching because you're embossing folders and everything's all together so we've got that so I'll go through that in a moment and then we have this here so I'll take that out separate okay and then that one there's got a voucher code on so I'll leave that one off because that's won't be fair otherwise unless you've got the box so okay so we'll go through that in a moment let's open this one here if you're very careful because I managed to take the other one off really carefully and um, you get a really well I had all that red tissue paper from the last one so that got reused again so again this one here a little hole but that's fine I can live with that so let's have a little look <laughs> it's like these little confettis that's sweet so we've got our three ink blocks there little cubes we'll look at those again in more detail we have here oh, it's all got a bit stuck under there that's fine we've got the metallic pen well, I'll be interested to see what that one's like we've got some white ribbon nice because it's the gross grain ribbon there then we've got some crystal brads and then what's this card because you get a different card in each one so this is go on dig in that's what I would do so this is your mat sizes. So you have, if you want a fat mat or a skinny mat. So this is your mats and layers. So it's got your, your A4, A5, A6, all your different card sizes there. And then in centimetres, it's got your mat sizes. I use inches and a lot of other people do. A lot of people flip between, so it'd be quite nice if we could have inches on there as well. But that's still really handy because I do work in centimetres when I do a lot of the magazine commissions. So it'd be something I can use for that, which is always handy. Then we have our card stocks. I'm just going to pop all this away. These are your coordinating card stocks. Let's first have a little look at these ones here. Okay, this is really nice thick card. It's the same quality as the first box. It is nice and thick. So you've got four of that lovely, it's like a raspberry kind of pink. Yeah, it's quite nice that one. Then I have got these four here in that kind of purple, I guess it's like a purpley blue. It's like a purple, purpley navy. You can see there it looks, when you put it against a blue, it does look a lot more purple. And then you've got this nice lighter blue here that one there then I've got the metallic pen so this one here let's see what this is like also it's a brush pen oh ooh, that is nice that is very very opaque that gives you a really nice coverage that's not thin at all that is a thick lovely shiny metallic pen so that's going to be lovely for writing you're also for adding decoration as well so yeah I like that one a lot that's nice okay so that's that then we have pop that over there let's check out the crystal brads was it yeah crystal brads let's have a little look at these okay let's have a look at these ones so you get these are all yes yeah, so they're just all clear which is nice because they're going to go with everything you get quite a few in there actually how many did you get Two. 18 you can see them there if I just bring them up a bit closer. I think I've got some similar larger ones, but they're pink. So 
they are very pretty and then the ribbon I don't need to take that off you can see how the ribbon looks and you'll see the ink pads in better you know I'm not going to stamp them all out now from what I've seen from the first ones and I've already had the next kit the bright rosa one box three so i already got the inks for them because i've done a card for the inspiration so you'll see a card by me in the bright rosa one but um they they're really really juicy they have loaded them with ink so that's good but they are juicy all on the felt there so you can see it all kind of like oozing out the side that's a lovely you can see i don't know how it works but it's a really really it looks really true to that colour there actually. So it's the three colours of the cardstock, so you can see what I mean, that is more of a purple. I'll just take this one off here. And it's nice already because I'm getting a real nice collection now of these ink cubes, so that's those three. Let me just show you, these are the other ones I've now got. I think these, I want to say those were the Bright Rosa. Those were Christina's. Anyway, but you can see already now I've got this nice collection of ink pads and you've got a real nice variety of colours and things like this when you start mixing them together like now those two are probably going to work really well when you do like your layering stamps and you know these kind of colours here and things like that. so it's all going to you know there's going to be loads of these you will end up by the end of the year you will have a really nice selection of ink pads so I just need to make sure now I keep the right ones with this one for the minute. So let's have a look inside this one so open it up so you get your three pockets Okay, so first of all, let me just take this out because then you'll be able to see on the back. So, okay, that's better. So, we've got Believe in the Magic of Christmas. Love that one. Love the um, the font there and the mix of fonts. That's really nice. On your special day, to and from. That's handy for gift tags and when you're wrapping your presents. Best wishes, holiday, no peeking. Then you've got Ah My. So, you could do. How would that one work then? Our photos. So if you're doing like a mini album or something, so I haven't looked at the inspiration yet. Like I said, I haven't seen any of this. This is me going in just as you guys would when you're opening your boxes. This is nice, nice little frame there. Obviously that would go nicely around that one, I imagine. And then you've got these borders here. So you've got the poinsettias and then you've got the holly and the berries, some little presents, more little bits of foliage and sprigs and stuff here. Snowflakes, bigger poinsettia, another one there. So there's a real nice mix of stamps. And in this pocket behind the stamps, you've got your silver foiled sentiments. So you've got a nice trim there. You've got do not open until the 25th. Happy birthday with love and hugs on your special day. You are wonderful, congratulations. This one says snowflakes are like friends each unique and each a gift to treasure. That's nice, I've not heard that one before. And then thinking of you, best wishes, special friend, thank you, and that one says joy. And then congratulations there as well. So you've got a nice, yeah, real nice mix there. So that's your first pocket. And then here we have our dies, which I am looking at, looks like it's gonna make a gift bag because this looks familiar to the ones that um, Helen has launched as part of her Christmas collection. I've seen this style that she's done on some gift bags. So, and there's the sides, because I recognize that from when I make gift bags. And then this looks like it's a flap piece. Then you've got a gift tag. You have all these little sentiments. You've got tabs here as well, because I imagine you could probably make some form of mini album with this as well. And then you've got, that looks like, it could be a buckle or a window. Holly, then you've got my, that says magical, and that says Christmas. You've got the bow, snowflakes, there's a lot there. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that out, seeing what that's gonna create. And then here we have our embossing folder. So actually now I can see, so this will stamp, and that stamp sits perfectly within that section there. And then you could have, yeah, see how that will fit nicely. You can do some great effects with your inks with the embossing folder. So yeah, I'm looking forward to playing around with that one. And then here as well, we have the pattern paper. So you get your cardstock separate there. And then in this pocket, we have these papers. So we've got these swirls with the purples, the blues. So it's like all the colors mixed together. That's really nice. It's quite psychedelic. Reminds me a little bit of like Austin Powers. <laughs> then we've got this one. I really like this bubble effect. I've just received a lovely woodware stamp with this same kind of bubble flower. So yeah, it's nice, it's really different. Very contemporary, very modern. And then again, you've got three of those. So those are those three colors. You can see how lovely everything matches together. And then we have these three here, which is that lovely snowflake paper. 
those are the pattern papers so that is this month's paper craft society box two designed by helen griffin let's have a little look at the inspiration let me just pop this all away so we have a little welcome from helen and then we've got our contents and again a little kind of q a yeah five minutes with helen and then this is telling us all of the contents that we have here so e so all the dies so it's a 20 piece die set there's everything you need to create a book or a gift bag in the kit and of course lots of special cards a perfect panel decorative words sentiments tags and snowflake foliage star bow photo corner and much more ah oh, there's a little photo corner i did see what that was there we go yeah that's the little photo corner so that's nice you can make an album and then you start to get all your inspirational projects so there is your gift bag so that's what I kind of thought it was going to look like. So like I said, Helen has brought out a larger version of this within the Christmas collection. You've got a cute little handbag um, style gift bag there with that lovely decorative edge. Shows you how to put it all together there. So it's deconstructed just like the way I make my gift bags. And then it breaks it all down there for you. Then we've got some card inspiration. So that's using the dies there. You've got those lovely sprigs and she's made a wreath. And using the sentiment, the ribbon, the little uh, crystal brad there really pretty and then you've got more cards we've got easel cards oh it is a buckle i wasn't sure i reckon you could use that as a window as well that you put some vellum behind it maybe i've got a little idea there and uh, you've got a cute another little kind of i think that's a oh no it's a card but she's done it where the top's been this is nikki so she's tied the top of the card with ribbon so she's used the the panels from the gift bag that's a good idea and then who we got here so again oh yeah so there it is oh no i get it now so it's a mini album card so it's a memory book but it looks like a card so that's a lovely way to send maybe if you've got family that are abroad that's a nice way to send a christmas card because you've got lots of little panels inside there know how well you can you see all the pages inside that's really pretty i like that and then more card inspiration and then you've got there at the back that shows more of Helen's there it is there's the bigger one that I was saying about the large ornate gift bag die set and then we have another card there that one I love that one that's really pretty I think it's because it's quite clean that's by Ruth Mackie and McCartan and then oh I've got a little bit stuck there this is another memory book so it shows you there how to die cut everything then they do that distressed effect because it's um it's a white core cardstock so you can get that effect where you use sandpaper so you can brush the top layer off so when you've embossed it you get that lovely effect it's really it is nice actually keep meaning to do it but now this one will, will remind me too and then Jeanette has done a page there by the looks of it I think this is Jeanette oh yeah Jeanette Lane so she's done this one here so yes yeah, so she's done that effect because she did show that I'm sure it was Jeanette that shared that in something else i've watched so many of the craft stash live that um, yeah i've probably seen it along there so she's done a nice little pocket there and then you've got some more little kind of my top five crafty projects and then just your kind of magazine gump and stuff at the back there so loads of inspiration i will be sharing a few tutorials using this it's so nice to receive them they really are they're lovely they, they have made them very well all the packaging everything's been so well thought out and um, like I said, I'm really excited to be part of the third box. So you will see a nice card that I created using the products there. And it's a beautiful one, the Bright Rosa. You know I'm a huge fan of Bright Rosa. And uh, it is exactly that. It's bright, it's colourful, it's beautiful. So there are unboxings of that now already out. So you can have a look at that. So if signing up to the Papercraft Society is something you are interested in doing, I'll share all the links below. Go and check them out. Have a look at all the videos. See if it's something you think you're going to enjoy and then give it a go. You can do month by month. You can do six monthly. It's entirely up to you. So the month by month, most people are going for. So you sign up and then you can cancel at any time. If you don't cancel, it will just roll over and you'll keep receiving it each month. But if you decide you don't want it, you can just stop it whereas if you sign up for six months and maybe you're not too pleased with them you've got to get the next six months and again for the 12 year ones and um, 12 year gosh we don't want that one 12 month one so the monthly one i think is the most popular i know my mum also does it so she will be getting hers as well so yeah there is this month's kit so thank you for popping by as always like i said everything will be shared below so check those links out and i'll be back again tomorrow with another tutorial thanks for watching bye